So, do you all remember in the last episode of this series that was filmed before I went on hiatus, uh, where I sort of, you know, got the final bit, what is essentially the final sort of stopping block for me upgrading our Starsec base? Well, uh, I have been busy since that episode, trust me. I have been busy. And, to put it simply, our new base is all but done. All I have to do is uh, right click on this waystone right here, and it will take us to our new location. Now, before I do click on this waystone, I do just want to remind you, the replay mod for this version of the game is an absolute nightmare to work with. Half of the footage that I tried to record I didn't end up staying. So, while this is a very sort of big moment for our series, the time lapse is less than stellar. I managed to recover enough that you can sort of see me building it, uh, but I'm gonna be honest, it, it's nowhere near the level of, of quality it should be. I know that's kind of a letdown considering you've been waiting for this upgrade for quite some time now, but I hope the actual quality of the build will uh, more than make up for that. So without any further ado, let's visit the College of Ancrea, let's play that time lapse, and let's get on with today's episode of Starsick. Let's go! And welcome to Trivia Night, everyone. So, while this time lapse is playing and while we've got the funky Fresh Freddy beats in the background, there are just a couple of things I want to talk about when it comes to this time lapse. Now, I'm not usually one to talk over these. In fact, I don't like talking over these. It feels like talking for the sake of talking, but this time I do have a reason. The first one being, I want to let you all know that this isn't the original time lapse. I know, like, a few seconds ago, I said, hey, I managed to salvage some from the original. Uh, no, I didn't. I went back to After Effects to, you know, like, uh, cut it all down, put it in the video. Uh, but it's not there. Apparently, I somehow, surprisingly, managed to delete all footage I had of the original time lapse. So, this is a recreation that took me... 18 hours straight to do and it would have been longer if I hadn't um, Well, you'll see at the end if I hadn't sort of uh, cheated a little bit when it comes to the mountains around the base uh, Since I already did technically build them once uh, For the recreation I sort of figured you know screw it I'm not dedicating another like 10 hours of my life to just placing down sand um, but yeah, so First thing is that this is a recreation of the original time-lapse. Uh, number two is that, unlike all of my other previous designs, the base of this one is actually someone else's design. I don't remember their name now, but I'm going to flash it up on screen. Basically, I originally got the base of this thing, like the, the lower half that's buried in the sand, and the outside sort of ring area from a pre-existing build. Now, normally I'd feel bad about this, especially when it's a series dedicated to my stuff for just sort of taking someone else's design, but in my defense, I feel like I've changed it enough that it, it's sort of, you know, hashtag OC don't steal, or at the very least, it's like a cover song of a Minecraft build. Uh, try and figure that one out in your heads. Um, but basically, the reason I had to go in there and change so much of it is because while it looks brilliant from a distance, the original creator seemed to not understand that symmetry existed. Everything about it was asymmetrical, and even after going in manually, like ripping it apart with my bare hands and forcing it back together like this sort of meat slush, it's still not entirely fully symmetrical. I made as much of it symmetri symmetrical as I can, but you can see as it's going up layer by layer that there are some things that are definitely out of line with each other. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the two things I really wanted to cover, first being this is a recreation, second being the original uh, sort of base design came from someone else. So uh, yeah, if it hasn't already ended, enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Okay, so that was cool, right? Um, ignore the fact that I'm sort of trapped uh, down here, uh, where you know there's, there's there there is there is very little light. Um, I didn't move any of the tile entities, so this waystone is exactly where I left it uh, from before I built this thing, uh, and so is the alchemical chest 
and the regular chest and all of my sort of storage chests over here. We will get around to moving these very soon, but for now, we need to find our way out of this dark sort of area here and out onto the surface. And pop! And up we go! Right then, let's just hope that no mobs have spawned in here, because for, for as sort of fleshed out as I've made this floor of the uh, base, there, there is certainly uh, no light to be had down here. I mean, you can probably see that already, or I guess you can't see that considering, you know, <laughs> no light. Uh, oh, yep, we're getting our first few mobs. Thankfully, it's just skeletons. I wouldn't want to get snuck up on a creeper down here. Let's just take this guy out over here. And then let's head on up. I think we're going to have to break through the fountain. Ignore this for now. I'll explain what this is in a second. Let's just uh, let's break through here first. Pop. And up we go. Uh, oh, no. I guess not. Up we go. I guess I chose the wrong place there. And pop. And up we go. Uh. <sighs> Ignoring that I just had to tear a hole through that. Let's just quickly swap these out. There we go. And we've got a bench. And we've got our stone brick back. Ah, uh, lovely. A uh, very lovely. But yes, welcome to the new Star Sick base. Okay, I put a lot of effort into this place as you can see we've got our original structure our oc structures on every uh point of the build and we have down here you know we've got some uh simply light aluminum columns and we have these warp plates now i know you guys haven't seen me build these so i just want to quickly show you what these warp plates are okay these warp plates they come from the Waystones mod. They're actually pretty simple to craft. They're, they're just stone brick, flint, and warp dust, which is just an ender pearl and some purple dye. I managed to make these off camera um, when I was, you know, time lapsing the build of these. Same goes for the simply light aluminum columns. Um, just as the warp plates have an EMC value, if I just pull up the aluminum columns here, uh, oh, they don't have an EMC value. Admittedly, it has been a while. I must have just made all of these manually. I mean, they're not expensive. They're pretty easy to craft. It's just, you know, wall, stone, and a, a lamp block. But, eh, I guess I would I put more effort into this base than I remember. Um, and then, obviously, we do have the Mr. Crayfish's Park Benches and the Builders and Crafts Edition Junk Table. These benches, again, a very simple crafting recipe. It is just some stripped spruce logs and some regular spruce logs, or I guess since these are oak, it's just the same, but with oak. Um, so yeah, nothing that's like too far out. The only thing I really needed to show you guys building that I didn't already have was these uh, stone path bricks here. I mean, I've still got a stack in my inventory from the last time I was on here. Um, we already went through the giant hassle of uh, getting these. Uh, in the last episode, so this this was really the only thing that I needed to show you how to craft because it was like the most complicated thing. But to stop myself from rambling, let's get on with the you know purpose of today's episode. I don't know why I zoomed in there. I, I really didn't need to zoom in. There was nothing dramatic about that sentence in the slightest. Although I think maybe we should sleep first. Although I think now the uh, the the big question is where the hell did I put my bed? <laughs> because I I don't remember where I put my bed. I think it's down where the waystone is, so that'd, that'd be over this way. And uh, the reason for these warp plates, if you haven't already... Oh, I haven't set them up yet. Uh, but if you if you couldn't already guess, it's to cross over this area. This is what we're going to be working on today, by the way. I'll, I'll explain that later. But it's to cross over this gap here for those of us that can't fly. No, I was wrong. There is no bed down here. I came down here for no reason. Right, well guess we're waiting out the night? There we go. Nothing more useful than having just an infinite amount of watches of flowing time at your disposal. Be gone, foul beast. There we go. Now that that's back in the sky, we can put the watch away. And we can actually get started with today's video. So, I did point out not but a few seconds ago that today we are going to be focusing on this. Now, what is this? Allow me to explain. The... 
the original uh, sort of plan for this was that it was actually going to be a, um, it was going to be like a, a, a water reservoir, a water duct, but instead of water, it's, it's, it's starlight, liquid starlight. The same goes for that thing there. That's not just a weird structure. This is meant to be a fountain. However, um, the schematic cannon can't actually transfer fluids, which means that these are basically just now sort of wide open uh, areas with nothing in them. Um, filling them with starlight isn't going to be an issue. It, it's going to take a while, but it's not going to be an issue. What is going to be an issue is getting all of that starlight. So what we're going to do today, or at least, you know, what we're going to try and do before we uh, sort of run out of time today, is we're going to try and find a way to automate the collection of starlight. I've already got a few ideas in mind. I have been experimenting with this for a while. Uh, but today I'm putting that theoretical knowledge to the test to see if it's actually going to, you know, help us. So let's get started on that. First things first, what we're going to need is we're going to need something to collect all of that starlight. And the easiest thing that we can do to collect that starlight in one place is to get ourselves a fluid tank. Now, I was hoping to get an ultimate fluid tank, okay? It's the highest capacity mechanism tank you can get. It can hold uh, 112,000 millibuckets, which uh, I believe is... Well, you know what? I actually don't know the conversion rate for buckets to millibuckets. Let me just tab out real quick and figure out what that is. A millibucket equals one one thousandth of a bucket of liquid. So if one bucket of liquid is uh, uh, a one bucket of liquid, what is it? What? Uh, what? Oh, okay, never mind, I'm stupid. The amount of times I've had to say that in my life is not fun. But if a thousand is uh, one bucket, then if we just... I think if we divide this by a thousand, so we move the decimal point uh, one, two, three, it can hold a hundred and twelve buckets of something, I believe? I don't know. I'm bad at math, but in order to make the ultimate fluid tank, I know this is sort of like a magic series, we're definitely going to have to delve into the science side of the mod pack, because we need atomic alloys and, you know, the previous tier of fluid tank. And atomic alloys require reinforced alloys, which require infused alloys, which require iron ingots and redstone in a metallurgic infuser. Now we have all of these parts, it's not hard to get them. It's just very time consuming. Now, the basic fluid tank is just redstone and iron. So let's just make this now. Actually, I think... Hang on, don't we just have like three of these back at the Anadonia base? Also, do you like the terraforming I did, by the way? I completely forgot to show this part off. Yeah, the, um, the world's kind of gone. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm not just going to leave this bit flat. I am going to put stuff down here, but that is going to come at a much later time. I have plans. I do have plans in the works. You got to believe me on that one. It's uh, it's just going to take a while to see them come to fruition. There we go. I knew we had one somewhere. I'm going to say we. I, I knew we had like a ton of these. Let's grab this basic fluid tank. And so with that, we can then work on upgrading it to the next level. And the next level is the advanced fluid tank. Now, this requires infused alloys, which... Wait, they have an EMC value. Oh, that's so useful. They have an EMC value. Okay, so for an infused alloy, it's just iron ingots and a redstone. And <laughs> we have more than enough iron. Let's just check the metallurgic infuser. There, there's no coal in there right now. So what we need is redstone. Do we have just any redstone lying around? I don't have any in my backpacks, but I'm sure I can find some. There we go, 29 redstone, that's more than enough. Now, since obviously we were in the process of like putting this stuff away and taking it down, um, you know, we don't have all of the watches of flowing time set up. I mean, you can see how many of them I've got in my backpack. But this should be enough for us to just start duping things with relative speed. I mean, look how much iron ore we've got. Let's just take a stack of this. Uh, there we go, and in here, let's put the redstone down. 
There we go. Right then, so now, let's go smelt this iron ore so we can get some iron ingots. Oh, and would you look at that? We have five blocks already in the smeltery. We are running very low on lava, though, so uh, remind me when it comes to filming Anadonia next time to figure out a way to set this thing up with wireless lava. Uh, for now, let's just clear some space so that we can actually take the iron. And then let's start pouring it out. Pour some lava on me, baby, yeah, yeah. Pour some lava on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimme. There we go. Right then, let's grab some more of this redstone from the EMC generators. Let's sleep before we do that. And then let's get on to making the, I, I believe it was the enriched alloy. I could be completely wrong with that name. The infused alloy, of course. And so this goes in here, and then this goes up here. Now, as far as I'm aware, we need four of the uh, four of the infused alloy for an, for an advanced tank. But to get the reinforced alloy, we also need infused alloy, and we need four of these. So technically, we need. 4, 8, 12, 16, plus the original 4, which is 24. No, it's not. That's 20. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we need 20 there, and then obviously for the ultimate, we need the atomic, which requires the reinforced. So we need 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I need to count this. Uh, and then these four, which is 36. So we need 36 in total. My math could be completely wrong there, by the way, just just so you know. Why am I just staring at this like an idiot? Hang on. I, I literally have infinite watches of flowing time at my disposal. Like, seriously, what the hell am I doing? And there we go. Now it's going much faster. In fact, it almost ran out of redstone right there. I'm surprised that this thing can keep up. I'm surprised this thing's even still, like, getting power. How has the coal generator still got this much stuff in it? I'm genuinely shocked. There we go, 49 infused alloy. I think that's over the amount we need, but uh, we'll soon see. So uh, let's fly up to the computer, because, you know, it's... It's just easier to do it with a computer, and let's build this thing. I need to go get more iron before we start this, so... Whoopsie, let's go do that. And since we're running low on lava, let's also go grab some of that. Sometimes I swear my life is just nothing but goddamn side quests. Yoink, and sploink. There we go, six blocks. Let's get these six blocks. Wait, hang on a second, what... What the... What am I doing? Why am I... I'm such an idiot. Hang on. I forgot. The only reason we made this chest was so that we could perform an EMC duplication glitch. Why the hell am I... Okay, I'm not replacing that one. I'm not replacing that one. I am replacing this one. There we go. I don't think we're going to have much of an issue when it comes to iron anymore. Jesus Christ. So now we need to look up tank and the computer died because it starved to death, I guess. Have some of my peaches. Here we go. So, we need to look up tank, and we need to do advanced, or not. Where did the tank go? Yeah, we have the basic empty tank right here. We have a ton of them. We even have one that has lava in it. What? Basic fluid tank, advanced fluid tank, that requires the basic fluid tank. We have that. It's right here. Why did that not... Oh, whatever. Give me the advanced fluid tank. There we go. And then to make the... Elite, we need reinforced alloy, and reinforced alloy is infused alloy with diamond. Right, I wasn't expecting that. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we've still got all of this alloy in here. Uh, we're going to take uh, one, two, three, four. I'm hoping to leave one in the computer, so in the event that we need it, we can just EMC each step of this instead of constantly having to make it over and over again. But let's take this four down to the metallurgic infuser, and then uh, we, sh we probably should have grabbed some diamonds while we were up there, but eh, who cares, I can just go back. And unfortunately, we are going to have to dump the redstone. Let's put the infused alloy up here. 
And now let's go grab some diamond. Yes, so <laughs> diamond is also no longer an issue for us. Part of me loves this because this is exactly how I like to play the game. But part of me also feels like I, we have removed all challenge by like introducing Project E. I think when it comes time to reboot the series inevitably in the future, I might just um, get rid of Project E. Because, I mean, I love the flying rings, don't get me wrong. I love the Klein stars, I love the flying rings, I love the, the Philosopher's Stone. I love all of the Project E stuff, and I love the condenser. But it just takes, like, all challenge away from the game. Anyway, let's chuck the diamonds up here. Let's not waste them. So, uh... And it's not letting me do that. What the hell, guys? Why? Why won't you let me do that? I've clearly missed something here, haven't I? Uh, elite fluid tank, reinforced alloy, enriched diamond, chemical... Oh, it has to be dust! Earth charge... Earth charge. I don't suppose I can just, like, grind it down, can I? Okay, it, it doesn't look like it works in a grindstone, but it does work in a pulverizer. I don't suppose I could just, like, do this, could I? Oh, I can. <laughs> Lovely. Let's put the diamond dust up here. And there we go. Reinforced alloy. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to make one more of these just so I have a spare. So give me a second. And in we go. Lovely. That one is staying in the computer. Okay, so with the reinforced alloys, we can now search up tank again, and we can grab ourselves the elite fluid tank, just like that. There we go. And with the one reinforced alloy left, I can EMC that so that we can, uh, yeah, get the atomic alloy. We need four of these, so all I'm going to do, grab the reinforced alloy, head down to the EMC farm, and let's duplicate this son of a gun. Oh, I should not have landed here at night. This place is way too dangerous at night. I forgot we haven't lit this place up yet. Honk, me, 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 me. Honk, me, 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 me. Honk, me, 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 me. Holy, wait, did I just get a music disc? <laughs> I accidentally got a music disc. That's nuts. <laughs> Now, we only need four of these for the actual build, but I'm going to bring five with me so that I can get the spare one that I can then keep in the computer and EMC when I need. Uh, but the reinforced alloy actually required something other than diamond. Uh, if I check back with the recipe, it requires... Refined obsidian, and that is an obsidian ingot in a crusher, or obsidian dust and diamond essence. And obsidian dust comes from enriching actual obsidian. We do have an enrichment chamber, but I don't know if we have obsidian. So we need to go find some. Right, well, I have the lava. All I need is a source of water to, like, pour on this thing. And would you look at that? I've got a source of water right here. Hey, hey. Uh, ooh. Gimme. There we go. And there we go. Right, so on the one hand, I don't want to our only source of lava nearby. On the other hand... Obsidian. Right, I have my magnet turned on, so it shouldn't burn. But just to be safe... And in three, two, one, gimme. There we go. That's 19 bits of obsidian. That should be more than enough. Now we use the rest of the diamond essence to get two refined obsidian dust. I don't think that's going to be enough. But on the other hand, I'm pretty sure it has an EMC value. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, it does. It has, it has an EMC value, so we're absolutely fine. I can just go and duplicate it. So let's grab the obsidian dust. I mean, you know, it's worth keeping around just in case. Let's go drop this in the computer to keep it out of harm's way. Then let's go dupe the enriched, or, or rather the refined obsidian dust. Uh, something is coming towards me. There we go. I thought so. Let's just drop this back up here. 
And then we can replace the sand. Oh, it killed me. Oh, it was a zombie brute, that's why. Uh, I'm gonna kill your entire bloodline and make you watch, you fat. you basic. Okay, then what I do from here, let's dump the rest of the diamond, drop the refined obsidian dust in here, nice and full, and then I believe it's reinforced alloy here. It's not much, but it'll have to do. Let's just, uh, nope, not you. Let's just drop you in here. There we go, five atomic alloy, just what we need, right then. Let's go make this tank, and uh, then we can move on to step two of the plan. Which I'm gonna be honest, is probably gonna be even more complicated to make. Which, you know, my own fault I guess, but still. <sighs> and bish bash bosh, ultimate fluid tank, absolutely lovely, right then, so. Like I mentioned, with this out of the way, it's time to move on to the next step of the plan. The plan for Cusco. Cusco's plan. The plan that Cusco made. Cusco's plan. So, for step two of the plan, what we're going to need is we're going to need some pipes, okay? But we're not going to need your basic old regular pipes. What we're going to need are fluid pipes, okay? These things right here. And the reason we're going to need these is because we're going to be transporting a ton of fluid around. Now, thankfully, it's a pretty simple recipe. It's just buckets, iron, and redstone. And if there's one thing we have a lot of, well, it's iron. So let's make some buckets. Let's make a lot of buckets. We're going to need a lot of these. And then let's... Wait, did we really run out of redstone already? Oh my god, we did. Right then, let's go and grab some more redstone from that uh, condenser. Right then, so, fluid pipes. There we go, that's a stack. They also have an EMC value, so we could EMC them if we need. But that's not what we need. Right now, the next thing we need, part three of the plan, are some starlight basins. That's not what they're called. Okay, let's figure out what they're called. Light wells. I meant to say light wells. I know we already have one of these uh, back at uh, the Starsick base, but we're going to need a hell of a lot more of them. And from the looks of it, we can only actually craft them inside of a luminous crafting table, which means we're going to have to set our crafting station back up. All right, then. Time to, time to go do that. Okay, now this is something really hard for me to do. Uh, because I really like the fountain, I like the water feature, but I think purely for the sake of this being a starlight college instead of a water feature, I think I'm going to set up my main crafting station here. Again, I, I really don't want to because I really like the fountain, but without the excessive use of the create mod, I don't see a way around this. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's tear down this baby. Let's tear down my baby. Let's tear down my baby. Okay, and with the celest it said Okay, and with the celestial altar back in uh working order, let's take a look once again at that crafting recipe, shall we? So it was the light well that we were looking to uh recreate. So we need a rock crystal, some ruined marble, some chiseled marble, and some aqua marine. We can do that. Let's go do that. Okay, and that should be those crystals there. That's three, but we're going to need a hell of a lot more if we want to make the amount of basins that we're after. There we go. Got myself the rock crystals. Only two this time, though, but hey, two is better than nothing. I need at least three more. If I'm going to do a 9x9, nine nine, or not a 9x9, nine nine, what am I talking about? If I'm going to do a 3x3, three three, I'm going to need three more, because it's one crystal per basin, and I already have one, which means I need eight. So I need three more. Let's go find them. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I was zoned out severely. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's look back at the recipe, shall we? It is aquamarine, ruined marble, and chiseled marble. So we have more chiseled marble. Let's do this one first. So if we need eight of these, it's eight on either side. 
and after eight on either side, we now need to go and dupe some of this ruined marble. So let's just go and do that very quickly. Okay, so next up, let's grab the ruined marble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So all that's left now is the uh, rock crystal, which, you know, we have, and the aquamarine, which I don't actually think we have any surplus of, but is easy enough to get. In fact, it's so easy, I can get it just like that. Or, I guess, rather, that. There we go. Right then, so let's grab those rock crystals, shall we? So, uh, I, I, I know some of these have, like, really cool effects on, and some of them are really strong effects, but... For the time being, I just don't care. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to wait until night time. Or I guess, you know, we're going to have to summon night time. Uh, and then let's just get as many of these light wells as we can. There we go. So night time has come upon us, just like I did to your mum. So now it's time to grab ourselves these light wells. So here's number one. Here's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six, number seven, and last but not least, numero eight. Lovely, that leaves us with nine light wells, and now it's time to set these guys up in the exact position that we need to get our starlight. Or, I mean, you know, before that we actually have to figure out where we're going to put these, because I have no idea. Okay, so now that we've got them all in position... Let's grab the fluid pipes and start laying these out, like so. They're not connecting right now, but they should be, so... Huh. Am I using the wrong pipes? I think I might be using the wrong pipes. Let me just check. Okay, so after having checked, I was right. These are the wrong cables, okay? I made these for basically no reason, but the good news is they were cheap. The cables that I actually need... Well... Where are they? Where are they? There we are, are the cyclic ones, which... Actually... I think they're even cheaper, although brick? Really? Okay, guess we're making some brick. So, now that we've got the gold nuggets and we've got the brick, all that's left to do is to actually start crafting this stuff. Although that's interesting. For some reason, the energy cable has an X next to it. I don't know what that means. Uh, but we need fluid cables, first of all. So let's just grab a ton of these. A stack should do. And then, while we're here, I think we have the materials necessary to craft an item cable as well. We've only got uh, eight of these because we don't have all the iron nuggets in the world, but what we could do, actually, while we're here, because I know we have a lot of iron up here already, is if we just X out of this, we can just make some more iron nuggets like that. There we go. Just drop those in there. Click on that. Bish bash bosh. Nice and lovely. Right then. Back to the Starsick base we go! <laughs> Let's go, my Gucci gamers! Yeah! So, with all of the materials gathered, we can now start setting this up properly. So, first things first, we need the fluid link cables running... I was gonna say next to these, but no, actually, it's not next to these. I think... I need to run these underneath. If I quickly just... Yes, I was right. We do need to run them underneath. So, let's just quickly hash out a grid pattern in the floor that we can put these cables through. Just like that. And then we just have to connect this one here. And now I'm stuck under the floor. I did not think this through. But now all of the basins are connected by the fluid cable. What we have to do now is... I think instead of extending it out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop the ultimate fluid tank directly here. So that that's also hooked up. The next thing we need to do is... I believe it's aquamarine that's the easiest thing to use as a focus. So... 
I'm going to grab some, and I'm going to test just to make sure that the fluid link is working properly. So if I just go and grab some aquamarine, I think I left it behind at the table here. Yeah, here we go. Let me grab the aquamarine. Let's see if it either feeds into each other or if it does the right thing and feeds into the tank. Because if it does, what we can then do is start to work on the automation of the placing of the foci. What we're going to do to speed things along, since this is also part of the design, is we are going to grab the dark matter pedestal. We're going to place one, two, three, four. Then we're going to put the dark matter pedestal back up here, and we're going to grab these watches of flowing time. So let's turn this up, make sure it's on fast forward. One. There we go. Let's grab the next one. Watch of time, flowing time number two. Let's put it on here. Bish bash bosh. And then let's grab the next one. Watch of flowing time number three. Let's put that up here. Turn it on. And we're starting to get some flares popping up. The, um, really nice and pretty flares. That look so enticing. I could stare into them forever. I'm just so pretty. Just so pretty. I I need to stay focused. Um right, and the next one is the next one is the final uh watch of flowing time. So let's grab this, let's turn it on, and then it's one, two, three to make sure it's working and click it. There we go. Now it doesn't appear as if it's taken any of it yet, so let's just make sure. Fill, empty, bow. Uh, there's no specific input for this. Unless maybe I need a wrench. Hold on, let me... At cyclic. There is a wrench. I need a heavy weighted pressure plate. And two redstone and two sticks. Sounds easy enough. Okay, and now that I've got the wrench, all I have to do, if I can get in low enough, is... I think it's shift click... Oh, no, definitely not shift click that I'm after. I just need a regular click. I need to do this onto all of these. There we go. Now it's working. So if I just... If I slowly just make my way around here, so if I mine down on this one. Yeah, they're all now inputting into the tank. There we go, we've got 14,000 millibuckets, all nice and stored, which is uh, definitely not going to be enough to fill this entire area, but it is a start. And you know what, speaking of a start, I think it's time for an ending. While we're not quite finished setting up our Starlight Collection system just yet, we have made a huge dint in the starting process. All we need to do now is grab ourselves an energy condenser, which we have plenty of, trust me, we have a surplus, and some item places, which again are very cheap, they come from cyclic, if I just type in at cyclic right now, and then scroll down, miner, forester, dropper, item user, block breaker, block placer, it'll either be the block placer, which is very simple, just to drop us some andesite, or, no, yeah, andesite, some cobblestone slabs and some iron, or it'll be the item user, which is just obsidian, magma, tripwires, dispensers, and gold blocks. Slightly more expensive, but also still well within our wheelhouse. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, if you liked what you saw today, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to go to the comments section, type out what you thought about today's episode. Give me some suggestions if you have any about anything at all. Genuinely, I'm open to any and all criticism, information, and praise. Please, please, please praise me. But yes, that is it for today's video. So, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye!